Echinothesis nigra can say benign skin lesion associated with either benign or malignant conditions, characterised by thickened velvety papillomatous brown patches that may arise in the axillae, neck, under the breasts, groins and anogenital region. Approximately 80% of cases are associated with benign conditions. The most frequent association is with obesity. This may occur at any age but usually occurs in adults, particularly in dark-skinned individuals. Acanthosis nigricans may be associated with endocrine abnormalities such as polycystic ovary syndrome, hypothyroidism and Cushing syndrome. It may occur with type 2 diabetes and some drugs such as corticosteroids, the oral contraceptive pill, nicotinic acid and growth hormone may be associated with the development of acanthosis nigricans. And finally, acanthosis nigricans may be hereditary with autosomal dominant inheritance. and This can occur at any age. When acanthosis nigricans is associated with malignancy, the lesions tend to be more extensive and pronounced. And the type of malignancy is most frequently a gastrointestinal adenocarcinoma, especially the stomach. But other cancers may also be associated with development of acanthosis nigricans. In around 18% of cases, Acanthosis nigricans may precede the cancer. Diagnosis can be confirmed with histology where there is epidermal hyperplasia, papillomatosis and finger-like projections of the dermal papillae, hyperkeratosis and areas of basal cell pigmentation. This is a low power view of acanthosis nigricans and you can see the acanthosis. In this area the epidermis is papillated and clearly hyperkeratotic. And here you can see the finger-like upward projections of the dermal papillae and also areas where there is hyperpigmentation of the basal layer.